everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing something that's really, really different for me. I know I say that all the time, but this is actually really different. Um, I've been really inspired by Elsa Witch at the minute. I'm obsessed with her channel. I think she's hilarious and I love, she is a gamer and she is a badass. I love all her editing styles. But yeah, so she loves to play The Sims and I do too. So I thought it'd be really funny to like make myself on The Sims. And they've actually got a Mac add-on, um, which is perfect for me because makeup is life. So I thought I'll make myself on The Sims, each outfit, each makeup, try and make it like something I would actually wear and like really similar to me. So if you want to see how I got on making myself on The Sims, then stick around. Okay, so first I am going to start a new game. Oh, here is a random Sheila, but you know, she looks literally nothing like me. Just adjusting my voice, deciding whether I should be manly or whether I should not be manly. Okay, so for the aspiration, I picked to be a famous celebrity because let's face it, that is really accurate for my life. And you also get the trait to be um, very good at chatting. And then I also picked to be some other random traits that I thought were like me. So I went for cheerful. I'm a very cheerful person. I also went for geek because I'm a fucking geek. And then the last one I picked was, I think I went for outgoing because, you know, I'm a very outgoing human. Right, so now I wanted to change my face to actually look like me. So I made it a bit more round. Then my, the cheeks were really puffy. So I basically made them a bit thinner. And here we are. Then I made my hair the perfect shade of blonde and changed it to like a centre part in because that's basically how I wear my hair every day. Every single day. And then I wanted to use the MAC makeup bit. So I went for this one with a bit of pink. I couldn't really decide at first, but I went for pink because I feel like it is very me. Um, here I am trying to decide what colour to go for and going back to the pink. Definitely a bit of me, isn't it? That vibe. Now I've put the eyeliner on and then we're going to go to the cheeks and we're going to add some MAC blusher. I love that it's MAC, I think that's so fun and really, really enjoy that. Here we are, I've gone to the MAC, like matte, I reckon that's probably like the liquid lipsticks that are matte, that's what I was thinking anyway. And added a colour there. I adjusted my body so, you know, my hips were a bit wider and I looked a bit more curvy because that is basically what I look like. And then I was like, what the fuck is this outfit? I need to change it. So here I am deciding what to wear. So I didn't really know what to wear at first. And then I put myself in, I was just perusing the blouses, perusing the jacket. Then I put myself in a hot dog costume. Why fucking not? And just thought it was hilarious. Imagine me walking down the street in that. And then I was again going through all the dresses, trying to decide what to wear. I think I then put myself in this lovely orange oh some ball gowns just trying to decide what to wear here I mean why would I wear a pink mermaid dress in the day I mean knowing me I probably would then I found this bit where you can kind of pick your own style so I went for number three that style was cute but I went for number three because I feel like I would definitely wear this mini skirt but in a different color so I picked white because you know that is just what I would wear and then I went for a top I wanted to find like a vest crop top so I went for the nearest thing I could find the nearest thing I could find was the little American crop top, so I added some pink zebra print to it, because that is so me. Added some fun trainers, and there we go. Okay, so next was formal wear. This is one of my favourite kind of vibes that I get on The Sims, and I basically had a, this outfit on and glasses, so I deleted the glasses. Went through a range of dresses to try and find one that I really liked. I was feeling a red vibe. So I went for this fish shell dress because it reminds me of my cheerleading ball dress that I wore. If you go to my Instagram, you'll see a picture of that because I also wore it when I was Jessica Rabbit. So bigging up that. Um, yeah, so then I deleted the jewellery that came with this other look and decided that I wanted to add a ring. And then I deleted the socks that I apparently had on. And when to try, I was actually here trying to find some earrings, but then I was like, I need to do my makeup to match the look and change the hairstyle. I wanted to change the hairstyle for every single look 
to really, you know, create authenticity. Went for this look because I love a curly swept over kind of Okay, so now I'm gonna pick my makeup for the look. So I wanted to create something that, you know, would kind of match the vibe but not be too bright because I'm wearing red. So I kind of went for whatever colour I could find on here. I wanted all over lid, so I went for this kind of like brown vibe because I just feel like, you know, it's kind of a bit more natural to go with the bright red. And then obviously the eyeliner was the same, same signature wing that I always have. Then for the lips, I went, at first I tried out a few colours and then I just went for kind of like, basically nearest red to the dress I could find because I feel like, you know, Red is a vibe, um, especially with a red dress, although this looks more orange, but you get what I mean. And then I got some silver hoops to go with the dress. I think I am looking fly here, to be honest. Then I, you know, zoomed really close into the face. I meant to zoom out here. Then I zoomed back out really far and I was like, I need to put some heels on. Not that you can see, but you get the idea. I'll be wearing heels. I went for these cool white kind of like ones with the tie around the ankle, just so they were a vibe. Now we're on to sports. What is this? Why have I got sunglasses on? And why do I look like every mum in a flippin' Tina Fey movie going on a hike? Uh, also, if you haven't seen the film Wine Country, thoroughly enjoyed that the other day. So here I am, and I put on a sports bra, and then I was trying to find something to kind of match the bottom. Then I just changed completely and went to this kind of crop top, took off the fucking glasses, they were driving me out the wall, and put my hair into a ponytail. As you know, who's going to be working out with their hair down? Didn't really like this hairstyle, so I went for one that had a bit of a plait at the front because if you know me, you know I love a bit of a plait. Here I am, scrolly, scrolly, and I went for that because isn't that so cute? Changed my mind to that one, but then went straight back to that one. Okay, so then I went on to pyjamas, and here I am deciding what to wear. I went for like a cosy jumper and shorts because that is kind of basically what I wore last night to bed. Because, you know, I went for plaits in my hair because I want my hair to be curly the next day. And then I kind of skipped on to party because party is my favourite of the wear. Went for this kind of one arm dress, decided on this then purpley one, which definitely think Yvette would wear. But then I actually went back to the one armed one with the asymmetric hem because I love that. And I went for it in this lush emerald green because I love green. It is actually my favourite colour, fun fact. Then I was like, oh, I really want to try a hair. So I went for that one. Then I was like, I never wear my hair like that. Side part and I just looked a bit like an elf and then I went for a low knee. I love a good low ponytail. Check that look alright with the dress. It did. And then it's time for the makeup. So went back to the MAC bit. Tried to find a vibe that would match the dress. So I went for like this green and brown vibe which I thought also was very me. Green on the top and brown underneath. And then I added a shimmery kind of nude lip which I thought looked gorgeous with the dress. And, you know, added some earrings. I wanted to go for the green vibes. At first I tried these, didn't like them, and then I went for these. Then I thought maybe the feather, but the blue did not go with the green. So we went back to the green. And then I was like, I really liked those shoes that I wore that you couldn't see with the other dress. So I put them back on and changed them to black. Because a fucking vibe, am I right? I think this is possibly my favourite outfit. I am living for it. Then it was on to swimwear. This one was hard because, you know, I don't actually look like that in body wise, but there is no way that I'm going to get my voluptuous curves on this page. But anyway, this is the type of bikini I would wear any kind of like a fun green print. Looks a bit like a palm tree vibe. So we went, oh, that's, that's just what I really went for. Wanted to put my hair up in a ponytail because, you know, if we're catching the sun, that'd be what I go for. And then for makeup, I kind of went quite minimal, but just added a coral lip because I feel like that's what you would wear in, you know, the summer. And here I am now on to hot weather wear. Didn't know this was a category. Um, don't like that dress. Kind of fancied the, the skirt. Then I tried this skirt. Then I think I actually used to own that skirt. Um, very, very similar. Then tried these shorts. And then I found this skirt. It literally looks like this tennis skirt that I just got from Bershka. And tennis skirts are so in right now. I'm in love. So then I was like, I need a crop top. And I need it to be a colour. So then I was trying to find that same top that I had in my other one. There she is, the American flag one. First I went for black and then I was like, you know what, I really do need to go bright. So I went for red. This is very me. Definitely think I would wear a red crop top and a white tennis skirt. Then I don't know what the fuck my shoes are so I changed them to trainers because a vibe. And I basically live in trainers anyway and if you're in hot weather... 
other than sandals, what do you even wear? And then I was like, I need to add some sunglasses. And I'm pretty sure this pair of sunglasses that I now add, I actually do own from Primark. So I went for these round ones. Um, again, I think I actually do own these. And made them white because that's the colour I have them in. <laughs> or I had them in. I don't know where they are. But So this is now me in hot weather. And I'm not going to lie. I'm looking cool. I'm looking fresh. And I'm looking fun. This was another favourite of mine. Then I did cold weather. I wasn't really vibing this because I don't really even like cold weather. I don't like dressing for cold weather. I basically only like to wear skirts and tops or something summery. But for this, I went for this Machino-esque jumper, which I just thought was cute. Again, why am I wearing sunglasses? Do I think I'm some sort of famous person? I mean, that is my goal. And then I went for jeans and some boots because I really did not know what to go with here. And I really just wasn't vibing anything because winter is not the one. I'm just not about winter, to be honest. I'm just not about winter. So then, you know, I removed those sunglasses. But I decided to add a beanie because I actually bought a really cute beanie. And I thought, you know what, when it's winter, I'll be wearing that beanie. So here is a cute beanie that I added. And then for makeup, I went a bit more kind of neutral tones because it's winter and I added like a darker lip just because in winter I love a dark brown lip so I added a nice dark brown lip and I feel like that is actually a vibe a motherfucking vibe ladies and gents a vibe and then I went back to the beginning and here we are so this is my everyday outfit this is the most like mine formal love that reminds me of my cheer thing sportswear don't really like I mean it is what it is I don't really dress like that Pajamas I like, that's cute, I mean I would wear that. Or party, this is definitely my favourite and I love that outfit. I mean yeah this is okay, if only my stomach actually looked like that. I love this one, hot weather is probably my second fave. A vibe. Cold weather, I don't really like but I really like the makeup. The dark lip is actually giving me full on life. Um, it makes me want to put a dark lip on right now to be honest. And there we go, back to the everyday and... It's time for a photo shoot. Dun, 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 dun. Let's have a photo shoot. Why have I got a tattoo? Didn't even notice that. Oh, that pose I like. Woo! It's actually so fun. Um, I actually had a way of time making myself on The Sims. If you'd like to see more content like this, then comment down below. I also kind of want to make like people I know or people I hate and like kill them, but maybe that's a bit rude. But um, yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But yes, I hope you have a good week and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.